hey guys welcome to home with tea on this video i'll be showing you guys how i painted my handrails from brown to black uh, so in my last video i changed my floors from brown to gray and now i can say i officially have like a gray tone going on in the house because before my wall colors were like a off yellow and the whole house was so heavy and brown and like it just wasn't my style uh, so from changing the walls to changing the floors, doing a lot of little things here and there, I officially have a great tone house and the handrails just don't work at all. Don't work at all. Like when I walk past it, I'm like, oh, this looks out of place, but <laughs> you know. So my plan in my head for these handrails was to change three things. I was going to change the color of the handrails. I was going to change some of the spindles um, to, you know, they have different designs, but they have like the basket style. They have those with like spirals. They have some really cool, like different designs. So my plan was to change out every other spindle. And then I was going to also have it in the color white because I just thought it would blend in perfectly with the whole space. But I haven't really had time to dedicate into the research and everything I need for that project. Uh, and I just couldn't put off painting the handrails any longer because it's the first thing you see when you come into the house and being that everything else has kind of changed around it besides that it just didn't work anymore so I was gonna just do something quick and dirty um, to just get it to blend in more with the space so my plan was just to paint it so that's what I did in this video is just painting the handrails and you'll see how Something that little can totally spruce up a, a space. Like I'm telling you guys, it totally changed how how it looked. Okay, so I went with the burr interior exterior um, paint in black, and I went with high gloss just to get some kind of like shine on the railing, um, like we had before. So I didn't show this part, but I did clean the railing thoroughly. Um, you want to make sure that there is there is no oil or dirt or anything like that on, on, on it before you start painting. So you want to prep it. Um, so I didn't show that part, but I did do that. And then I just jumped right into painting because I was just so anxious to just start. You can already see how it's looking. You can kind of see the way it's changing the space as you're going. And I just love, I just love the black. I love the black a lot. Uh, and the one good thing about this paint is how quickly it dries in between coats. Uh, it dries so fast to touch. Uh, so that's definitely a plus. So it looked really good. The black was just perfect. Uh, but I had an issue with how it felt going up and down the, the stairs. Um, I'm the kind of person that likes to hold onto it and I could just feel the roughness of my paint job. And I didn't like that at all. Um, I'm not sure if it was because dirt got on it in between coats or maybe because I was using a roller to kind of smooth out the paint. Um, that's my guess. But yeah, so I just had to go back in and lightly sand so I could get off the paint and then go back in and repaint it. So this is just me getting the, the space ready to repaint. Yeah, I'm definitely liking it better this time around. Um, the way it kind of looks after I sanded it actually is better. It is better. Um, and again, I didn't go crazy with the sanding. I, I did it very light. Um, and I really don't care about maintaining the look of the wood, honestly. That's why I went with painting instead of staining. Um, I just wanted to look full on black. So I did about three coats in total and that was more than enough. Um, it was already good at two coats, but I decided to do just one last coat and yeah. So here is the finished look of the stairs and I just love it. It flows better with the space compared to how it looked before and it's perfect. Thank you so much for watching guys. I want to hear in the comment section 
what you think about the railings now that they look black um let me know if you think i should change some of the spindles out for other designs if i should change your white i want to hear what you think so go ahead and hit the subscribe button like share and i'll catch you on my next video